Well, as you may have guessed, my name is Sapphire. And today, our story is about our dear little friend, Zoo the Zebra. And it was written by Michael Gay, illustrated by him as well, and translated by Gecko Press. So, should we go find out what Zoo's up to? Zoo. When Mummy and Daddy wake up, Zoo is allowed to climb into their bed. Knock, knock. Are you awake, us, Zoo? We're asleep, they say. How can Zoo wake them up so they won't be grumpy? They need coffee. Lots of coffee. Big bowls of coffee. With sugar. And some cereal. And a little dish of jam. That makes a beautiful breakfast. Which is so... Zoo carries carefully, carefully. <gasps> Oops! He'll have to start all over again. But there's hardly any coffee left. Not even enough to fill the smallest cup in the kitchen. Mummy and Daddy need full cups to wake up properly. If Zoo. Who uses the tea set cups, he can fill them up to the brim. There's even enough left to fill the little teapot. That's a lovely breakfast and so easy to carry. Oh, isn't he smart? Knock, knock, knock. Breakfast is Zoo. Mmm, how good the coffee smells, Zoo's parents say. That will wake us up. But it's hard for big zebras to hold tiny cups. What are they going to do? I'll get in between and help, says Zoo. One cup for mummy. One cup for da -da daddy. Thank you, Zoo. What a delicious little breakfast. It's all very well, such a dainty breakfast, but it doesn't wake you up much. Just long enough for a little kisses. Well, I hope you enjoyed about learning about our little friend Zoo, and I can't wait to see you again next time. Lucky day.